Let's play! Okay, real talk. That is one of my favorite, like, company jingles in all of gaming. And yet I really haven't played many of their games. This is Shantae, Half Genie Hero. For those of you who don't know, Shantae is an old schoolish gaming character from Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Times. Uh, very underrated, came out really like late on the Game Boy Color um, life lifeline. And um, I haven't really played much Shantae. I mean, I have the uh, Pirate's Curse on the Wii U. But as soon as I saw this game being like DuckTales Remastered, I jumped on that. I backed it, of course. I'm a big backer dude. So here is the uh, the E3 2015 Kickstarter beta. So um, my computer, as you may know, is absolutely garbage. So just a warning, this is not at any way indicative of how the final product will actually be, other than, oh my god, it's so gorgeous. So, uh, I did get the chance to at least try it out to make sure that it runs fine, and it runs surprisingly decently. Uh, there are a few errors, which you'll see. So, we got the first enemies here, who hit a lot wider range than I would have expected. Like, that is a big attack radius for the first enemy in the game. Like, you know, Goombas in games and stuff. They, they really don't have that. They're just kind of there. But nope, the first enemy you meet in this Kickstarter beta is uh, is an enemy with a shmup-style super burst thing. And it just, just take a look at the crab here. Just take a good look at this crab and realize how much work was put into that enemy. I love hand-drawn graphics in games. Look, look at Shantae's dance! I mean, mind you, it would be wonderful if they could make her, 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 you know, neutral idol animation sync up to music in every level. It's not gonna happen, but I'd love it. Um, but no, I'm so excited for this game. I'm excited for, well, you know, more stuff from Way Forward. Because if you don't know, Way Forward is such an underrated company. So as you can see here, it's slowing down a little bit, and if I dance, it's even worse. See, she's a little bit of weird glitchy stuff. Um, again, it's just my computer. Do not worry. Uh, I've backed this uh, to the point where I can get it on console, which I will. Um, I don't know if I want to go Wii U or PS4 yet. I'm going to wait for the exclusive features to appear. Because um, I doubt there'll be anything on, on PS4 that'll be worth it. But if Wii U doesn't have... Like, if the Wii U doesn't have, I don't know, Amiibo support or even like, no no map on the bottom the screen, then it's like, yeah, I'll go with PS4. But otherwise, you know, any sort of Wii U exclusive feature, I'd be down for, and would have probably... So I don't know how to avoid this attack! Am I supposed to actually, like, jump out of the way, like, up here? I guess so. Man, that is actually surprisingly difficult to avoid. Also, cute monster girls. This gets Tanner's seal of approval already. Uh, so this has three levels without context, which is kind of the best way to go about it, I feel. Uh, ooh, hello. So we need to get up there, or... Oh no, we need to be monkey! I totally forgot about monkey form. Uh, it also hides some transformations and other stuff. So really, it's just a nice demo. And look at that monkey's idol animation. Oh my god, it's adorable. So is that... Oh. Okay. Interesting. Um, the one complaint I have about this, just even playing for the little bit that I did, is that when you get hit, there's not enough of a, um, a sort of impact or sound that makes it feel like you got hit. Uh, I hope that changes in the full game, and when I tweeted that on Twitter, the cr the director of this game favorited it. So, you know, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that he, uh, he takes it to heart. If that's the case, uh, you know, that'd be awesome. And, honestly, the whole thing where... Uh, directors of games can like favorite tweets involving those games uh, just by searching them. I'm getting hit way too many times. Um, it's kind of scary because if I ever like, you know, start doing complaints about a game, then a uh, developer can come in and say, well, no, you're wrong. Um, which one? I think it was Life is Strange. I was just watching the Let's Play by Two Best Friends Play, and uh, I, I, I noted how none of the characters are likable. And then I got a reply from one of, like, the writers, and I'm like, oh, okay, yep. And as soon as that happens, I definitely get a lot less critical. You know, when there's a person behind it, it changes. That's something that I think a lot of people don't get. That's something that my time at Bioware definitely taught me, is that each of these are people, and then you kind of need to realize that 
You know, there's there's work put in. There's not just like a, a machine making these things. It's like no, well, I mean, they're on a machine, but you know what I'm saying. So kind of like how you don't have to put in the codes to transform. That might just be in the in this thing, because I mean, you know, that's the stuff that happens. Uh, I wonder if there's a secret up there though. No monkey super rocket thing. If you if you know Shanta, you know what I'm talking about. Um, okay. I see cute girls in cages. That's one thing Way Forward does amazingly well. All their character designs are like, oh, that was it. Okay, that's cool. That was actually a really good introductory level, like to get you started and definitely get you intrigued. That's 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 the way to do it. Um, I noticed that this this video was a lot slower than last time. I hope my computer isn't starting to like get worse. This last one looks like a water slide, so I'm super excited. But we're gonna go on to the second one, the desert level, which in a Shante game is. You'd think would be almost every level, but it's not. Or is this... No, that I was going to say is it's snow looking in the background. Oh, this reminds me of Mega Man 0, 4, 3. Or 4. I think 4. Yeah, the one with... No, 3. It's the one with Omega. The intro stage. Yeah, it's so cool. I'm also getting hit really a lot. Mind you, in the full Shantae games, you get to upgrade your stuff. And this is just, you know... Do we get another transformation in this one? Oh, we're crab! Crap! Is it just... Just a shield? Okay, that's definitely interesting. Oh, okay. Oh, do we push this? Yeah! Can we kill him by crushing him? Oh my gosh, you can. We got some mighty switch force going on. So, like, if you see, when I got hit there, it's like, you can't really know... Oh, does it let us swim? Is that what it is? Uh, you can't really notice that you... Uh... Oh, yes, that's the thing... Oh my goodness, look at us. I love it. Oh, interesting. So, like, you can... It's slow fall. It's not swim. That's very interesting. I can get behind that. And I'm also looking forward to upgrading this ability to actually have an attack. You know, because right now we are literally defenseless. Oh, okay, no. I lied. We have defenses. We don't have anything else other than defenses. Um... Wonder how much of the level I can do is this? Oh, we're we're in trouble. No, we're not. Yes, we are still. So let's transform back. Okay, go away, go away. There we go. Ah, heart. Thankfully, the whole it's not just three hearts. It's technically like six hits. Ooh. Oh, that dude's cool. I like him. It's an ant lion. It's an interesting obstacle enemy. I can dig that. Uh, yeah. Let's explore down here. Why not? Oh, didn't do that fast enough. I mean, I did that too fast, rather. When I first saw the um, the hand-drawn stuff, I wasn't... Like, I, I didn't hate it, but I was definitely, you know, thinking it could be better. But now I'm looking at it, it's so much more polished. And especially in-game, you know. I mean, this is very clearly using, like, the, um, the DuckTales remastered engine where it's, you know, you got the 3D backgrounds mixed with the hand-drawn sprites, which I think looks very good. And I know a lot of people complain about it, but then again on the internet, what do people not complain about? Ooh, is this a... Ooh, Sandstorm! We got Commando Man for Mega Man 10 now. Okay, come on. Don't do not do that to me. Oh, wow. It actually really pushes you back. It's just not a visibility thing. Oh, gotta hit that switch. Oh my gosh, she has an absolutely adorable crawl animation. Does she have crawl back? No. Nope. Uh, what did that do? Did it just lock it in place, or I guess it did. Health, health. No, it's not health. I don't think being a crab would help us with this either. Oh, so you don't have to hit the eye. You just have to hit him. That's that makes it a lot easier. That's gonna be something to do. Oh no, 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 no. So we're gonna use this to stop us from a. Uh... Ah, oh, there we go. Just slow and steady. Come on. That's not health. You really want health? Oh, we're behind this, and that actually saves us. Yes. Okay. Oh, wow, no, you can kill him. And he has an amazing death animation. Oh my gosh, I don't think... I didn't think they that was a thing. That's really cool. No, gimme. Those dudes remind me of like old school Mega Man, the six shooters. Ah, oh. there's a lot of the, a lot of enemies that do that in the old Mega Mans, which is good and bad. 
Because it's like, yeah, it's, you know, uh, we can kill him. Um, you know, it's like, it's a good challenge, but at the same time, it's like, they get annoying. You have to balance, for sure. That's one big thing, you know, challenge versus annoyance. No! Okay. So these aren't switches, they just lock them into place for you to, uh, have a, have a safe hold, it seems. Which is cool, I can dig that. Okay. Hop up. Let's kill this dude too, I want to see his amazing death animation again. There we go. I love how they bounce around like that, that's like... Oh my god, you can hit them? Oh, that is so needless, but I love needless additions like that in games. Those are like my absolute favorite, honestly. It's like, you know, people say, oh, if this is, why is this in the game if it doesn't have a clear function? It's like, because it's a game and it's supposed to be fun. At least that's how I feel. If you feel otherwise, feel free to leave a comment and I'll never look at it. It's like, because lately I, I don't like reading comments. They all just seem to be the same. Or, just don't make any sense. Or, are replying to a month's old comment that I don't really remember. So now I'm looking at them and I'm like, I have no idea who you're replying to or about what. And you're like, yeah, I agree. It's like, agree with what? Or, there was one guy who just wrote off his entire Call of Duty chat log. And I was like, what is that supposed to- Okay, that's death. Um, it's like, what was that supposed to do for me, man? Oh no, we could've made- we could've made that. Okay, we can make this. Yeah. I want that to be health up there, though. Oh, no more. Cool. God, these guys are annoying. I mean, they're cactus- e Cactus enemies in every video game are annoying, though. It's like, that is- I mean, yeah, it's a desert trope, cactus enemies, but at the same time, it's like, do they really have- Oh. Surprise, he actually stopped taking damage there for a sec. God, that is such a need- Oh no, they give you- They give you money! Yo. That's pretty hype. Also, big shoutouts to my boy Jake Kaufman, Vert, for making more amazing music. Uh, you might know him from Shovel Knight, you might know him from previous Shantae title, or at least- at least Pirate's Curse. Oh no, and Risky's Revenge. His music is just mwah worthy. Alrighty then, on to the final level. I am stoked to see what happens. So far this game has been gorgeous, and I'm looking forward to the full one. Um, because I, I backed at a high enough level, I will get Tinker Bat, Transformation, and all sorts of other stuff, so just you wait for the full Let's Play. This looks so good already. Oh my god, this is some Gunstar Heroes stuff. Except I can't attack. If this was Gunstar Heroes, I could attack. Treasure. Treasure is the company that I wish I knew about as a kid, but didn't. And, oh, those those are good. Oh my god, this is so good. Uh, and I've been watching Best Friends play Freedom Planet, and I look at it and I'm like, this is what I want. That crocodile is on a rail. And he's throwing dead fish. I wonder if there's a story explanation. Oh my gosh, they put warning symbols on the side of the things to show you when to jump. That's actually really smart, because it's not its not in your face like some, like, um, you know, Mega Man 8's jump, jump, slide, slide. Mega Man, Mega Man! It's like, no, it's none of that. It's just, it's subtle. And if you, if you, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. And this music is, of course, utterly amazing. My gaming skills, on the other hand, are not. Also, big shoutouts to the fact that they got shadows to work with 2D sprites. That is something that really impresses me. I don't even know how you program... I mean, I guess you could just do lighting areas, but like, man... That's such a... Again, needless addition that is so worth it. Then again, you know, it's, it's kind of shadows are needed and lighting in general. In modern games. Ow. I thought that was a pit, but that was just a tree in my way. So, that was pretty hype. I am looking forward to more, like, little mini sections like that. Um, I love it when games just throw in a change of genre or a change of, of gameplay type, you know? So, um, I guess, guys, we'll take a look at the options. I mean, nothing here that's amazing. Controls. Huh, <laughs> it thinks I'm using an Xbox controller. Joke's on you, this is a DualShock 3, because I have like six of them. 
unlike Xbox, which I have none. So, thank you all for watching my Half Genie Hero demo thing. I hope you all look forward to the full game as much as I do. And, uh, I don't know. If you want to see me play other Shantae stuff, feel free to leave comments. The only thing is I cannot play the, uh, the original because because it's not on a thing I can record. Actual copies are super expensive, and emulating it is apparently impossible at the moment because of some weird tricks they did with the game. And I don't have a 3DS recorder, so... But yeah, cool. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time on Half Genie Hero Stuff. Ciao.